and we are back i first want to say thank you guys for uh the love that you showed on the last video watching it appreciate you also as you saw from the beginning of this video that i was in fact in a ugh, in fact able to catch the larvesta so and i'll show the team off in a second i did that also i was able to show the uh guy mining for the watts going what i like to call super saiyan and also we have our scissor size or however you want to say it doesn't really matter nobody judges over here it looks like it was something over here that i wanted to grab yeah whatever okay so here's the team so just kind of go over everything right quick so i went ahead and gave it energy ball i got that from one of the raids i just need to upgrade struggle bug at some point let's see and Golisopod still has X Scissor, Liquidation, Poison Jab, First Impression. Sizor has Bullet Punch, Fury Cut, False Swipe, Wing Attack. And these are all the moves that pretty much came on our Vesta, so I haven't really done much for her, but I need to get her up there and level. Rubbin still looks the same, and here we go with the Dweeble. So this particular episode, I'm going to do my best to rush through this next process as quickly and as swiftly as possible. So what's about to happen is we're about to get Cup Fu. We are going to have to show Cup Fu to four different places. It needs to be, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, first in our party, I guess, to walk it around, build up his quote-unquote friendship. After we show it to the four places, come back, talk to Mustard. Mustard will then let us know where there's one or two towers that we can go to which I am just going to pick the water one. Just be Actually, I should pick the dark one only because of the simple fact that Bug can, you know, take it down. But now I have to think strategically, then that's what I want to actually oppose. So I'll actually go to the water tower and do that. Once I do that, I can uh, turn it into an Urshifu. Yeah, Urshifu. Which I'll go ahead and do it, why not? And we'll pretty much be done with the first part of the Isle of Armor. I have seen online that it is a possibility that I'll be able to also do, I guess, maybe like a portion of the Crown Tundra, even at this low of a level. I am not sure. If that is the case, that will be great because most people doing Crown Tundra, um, what is it uh coverage are going with you know teams that have already beaten the post game and everything and all of olive armor so let's see well, first let me see what this summary so if that is indeed the fact that it give us a nice advantage that is horrible but whatever i'll take it <laughs> all right so add to party here and I guess I'll swap you out with Grubbin for the most part. So that's what we're going to end up doing. And that's how everything looks at this point. So that is the plan. So go ahead and get this knocked out. Um, and what I... I'm probably still going to do some more grinding in terms of just doing uh, raids before coming back. So we might, I was not even paying attention to what was just said, but this is what I get. All right, so it's following everything. <laughs> but, um, swap you right quick. So I may not even get to the next part of the story. If not, man, we can always come back to it. But, but I think it all work out. I have faith. So let's see how much I can dump in and what we get. 24 all right awesome area release is a definite I don't care about scary face headbutt ah uh, sure I'll give you that one and what else you got for me is that it oh brick brick of course of course. Let's see. Am I getting anything else? 
I'm going to be a little bit stingy with this candy. Like, I'm going to give it an increments of 10. Because <laughs> I have been grinding. Do you hear me? All right, let me see what five are there. Trust me when I say I have been grinding. And I am not <laughs> trying to just, you know, just dump all of this into this particular Pokemon. Especially when after this, I really don't plan on using it. <laughs> Even when I do, you know what's good, I'll just dump it. No, no, I'll just give it three of these, four of these. Boom, boom, boom. All right, that should be enough to get me where I need to go. All right. And I just lost my train of thought. Do not judge me, people. Okay, so go ahead and hit up these four spots ever so quickly. And there is a great chance that I am probably going to do some funky editing, but I'm actually not going to do any raids. So strictly all that I'm doing is hitting up these tasks and just letting that be that. And I am doing my best to work on the audio. Um, I think part of it was I the last several videos that you guys got that was all from a like a four hour and a half video like i just literally recorded the whole thing and just did a whole lot of cutting and splicing and everything else and in general i don't know why i was speaking so soft and what i don't know what that was about don't really care either but um i'm working on it i did have some uh, regular gaming headphones but I idiotically left those in um, North Carolina because <laughs> that's actually where um, I, after getting out of the military, I actually vacationed there for some months, uh, staying with uh, my brother. He's not really my brother. He's my military. He's uh, somebody that I met in the military while I was at my first duty station for Rucker, but we've actually built a friendship, so I call him my brother. So stayed with them, and in the midst of me, packing up everything to come back to Chicago that was one of the things that I left and I have tried different configurations to try and you know be able to do this uh, streaming and whatnot have been able to do it so right now the audio that you guys are getting is actually from the webcam that I'm currently using so Oh no, oh wow, wow, okay, all right, bit of a jump scare. <laughs> Just go run up on me with your luxurious, you know, afro, and then your horn ring. I ain't got no beef with you, homie. I ain't got no beef with you, man. All right, so um, I should, hopefully, <laughs> I guess before end of day Friday, have um, a new pair of... Um, gaming headphones and hopefully it'll be able to work with the OBS software to where I'll be able to do all the streaming and everything that I know to do and if that's the case just know that I will more than likely always have my hair covered up because having my hair in its natural state with um, pair of headphones on top of it will be very comical for y'all <laughs> I'm not trying to look like that no so, and also, um, I have a ring light coming too. I do have regular, um, regular lights set and whatnot, but given the current configuration of how I have everything, it's not really advantageous. And I'm still working on um, my apartment and getting everything where I need it to be, things set up, things renovated. So until I um, officially create the space needed to do the type of uh, recording that I want it'll just pretty much be from right here and even and I guess what I'm trying to say is like I, I actually do like a certain type of quality of video like if I'm just doing reviews meh but doing some gaming I mean obviously the most important thing is you guys being able just to hear me and see the actual um gameplay but you know hey some people might actually come to see you you know see your boys so you know hey here i am so 
If all goes well, <laughs> the videos that you guys will more than likely get, let's just shoot and say Sunday. Hopefully will be of a better quality. We shall see. Please don't hold me to that because, you know, hey, I might get the technology and it might not even work for me. So, you know, right now I'm, I'm just floating on the prayer right now. <laughs> but... That little bit of small talk did help me eat up some time, and I've been able to meet two objectives. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure the last two is literally just going to the train of low grounds. I'll be able to hit those two places and then come back around, go through this um tower right there. And the crazy thing is, I have to fight them all with cup food, which now that I'm thinking about it, I might want to dump some more. I really don't want to dump all that candy. Like, if y'all see all that candy, when I say that I have been raiding, I have been raiding. I've been putting in the time. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that too. So, um, no, that's not what I wanted to do. So, my lead card, you guys can actually see so far how many watts I have. So, it's rumored and there's a little Easter egg that is going to require me to have approximately 1,000, not 1,000, 1 million watts, which I haven't even gone to the first gym yet. And I've been able to accumulate all these watts by those ore that I've been collecting. And did I just happen to go in the wrong direction? What am I doing? Okay, whatever. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I think I'm going the opposite way of where I want to go. What am I doing in general with my life? <laughs> but um, I've been able to, oh, I know what I did. Whatever, I'll just run around the circle until I get back to a certain focal point and then from there I'll be able to get it together. Uh, so, okay, so then I should just be able to go straight this way, I think. Wait, no, no, that was it. I think that was it. Right? The train of low ground should be right here. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, I was able to do all that by collecting the uh, ores. And I've actually just been doing all the raids on um, the Isle of Armor. I'm not sure because I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm not sure if I can actually get ore from regular um, raid battles, which I think I can. But if not, I can always, you know, just do a couple of gems, come back here, do a couple of gems, come back here, and just build it up, because I think I'm probably at like five right now. Two. So I need five. Whatever. So just get, do that, get that knocked out, and will be in there like swimmer. The only thing is with earning that one million, because right now I'm just being overzealous, um, and earning that one million, that won't even take effect until pretty much post game. Meaning that I've beaten the main, the main storyline, I've beaten the post game for that, came back here to do the post game material for the Isle of Armor, and then unlock the Easter egg. A lot, but at the same time, I don't know if Watts will be used when we get to the Crown Tundra. So I'm kind of trying to stock up just in case, but I'm actually going to go through some of the um, Watts that I have because I'm going to need money in the game. Because right now, I have that little bit of chump change, and uh, there's a little trick if you will. I forget the exact price, but using the watts to buy luxury balls and then just selling the luxury balls will give me quite a bit of money <laughs> to do everything that i need to do with it. especially when we get further in the game being able to buy um stat increase and items like you know protein and iron and all of that goodness so yeah need to get the money up but I think I'm doing pretty good at this particular point in time. The only thing is I haven't really done any raising of levels with any of my Pokemon. Because, again, all I've been doing is raiding. So, I believe this is the last spot that I need to go to. 
before heading back. Yep. And the fun, fun thing is what I probably should have done is I should have went ahead, got my <laughs> um, jersey and whatnot, got the um, flying taxi, and then did this. Because now I literally have to go everywhere on foot. <laughs> but it's okay. So that's it. Yup, yup, yup. And, uh, yeah. See, I would be able to fly here, but you know, I don't have a, I don't have a flying taxi, so. <sighs> I just have to run it, and I'm going the wrong way. All right, so the first objective is done. Unfortunately, I don't know how much time I've been recording, but that's okay. Oh, 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 oh trying to get me. Okie dokie. So, all I need to do is show, I'm about to say share, <laughs> show um, Cub Fu to Mustard. He'll bring me out. He'll show me the general direction of the two towers. I've already told y'all that I'm going with the water one. Because, and I even figured this out when I was playing through the first time, which is like, yeah, we're going to end up fighting Mustard a second time, which we do. So, and... Whichever version of um, Urshifu that you picked, he picks the other version. So, I'm just trying to be smart about it. The key, key phrase is, or, you know, word is trying. <laughs> May not be successful. And then, especially, if I remember correctly, one of the Pokemon that he's going to have in that final battle is going to be... A lichen rock, <laughs> and what type of Pokemon am I using for the playthrough? Bug, which the majority of my bugs have a weakness to rock, especially Larvesta when it finally evolves, because it's going to have a quad weakness to rock types. <laughs> so, whew, I'm gonna figure it out. We, we gonna get there, y'all. We gonna get there. And I even think that my well, what you do. My Galaxapod, I think that it is also going to be weak, even though it's part water. And I don't think that it learns a water priority move. <laughs> so, I'm probably not going to be in the best of all positions. But again, I'm, I'm thinking about the wrong thing at the wrong time. We're here right now. Plus, the main playthrough is the bug playthrough. So I don't necessarily. So she is the key to the little mystery is giving her the watch. We'll get there. So we'll see. We'll see if I continue to use bugs in the post game activities or not. We shall see. Okay. Lead the way. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> okay. I also probably should say that I may be in and out with this particular recording, which that is the beauty of editing. I don't necessarily need to be here for all of it, but right now in Pokemon Go is Legendary Raid Hour, which Giratina is the uh, current raid boss until Friday. <clears throat> and because I have friends from different time zones, my raid hour is over. <laughs> but some of theirs is just beginning. So I'm trying to keep my eye on my phone. And I have it, the notification thing, scrolled down to where if one comes up, theoretically, I should be able to catch it out of the corner of my eye, which means that I'll end up doing some raids. Though I have plenty of Giratinas, but just, even if I don't, like, without popping a lucky egg at a minimum, that's 10,000 experience. And I think I'm at level 37. And if I pop a lucky egg, then that's 20,000. And if I can get a whole lot in on just that one egg, that is a lot of experience. So, yeah, it is what it is, y'all. And, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Especially knowing that I'm going, oh, excuse me, to do some raids 
immediately following this video. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one for tonight. Because trust me when I say, um, I've split, like literally, when I say that I was done on that last video, because that was the last of that four hour long, I literally went to bed. <laughs> Uh, I did a little bit of a, uh, where am I, where am I going? <laughs> I did a little bit of some um, Pokemon Go activities and then immediately after that was over, I turned over and went to bed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I want to try to get some good sleep in because I don't know exactly what time uh, the game will become available tomorrow. Cause, but I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But I just want to be ready. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do a whole nother video. I might, I might get that feeling to do it. Cause with this one, I really don't have to do that much editing, unless I just decide to cut all this chatter down. I might not. <laughs> uh, let's see. But if you guys can, if y'all, uh, let me know if you all like um, that I'm just cutting a lot of the uh, fluff and just giving you a lot of the activity. Because again, most of us have already played through this game, so we know what it gives. So rather than, you know, being repetitive on a lot of that, just showing you the, the meat and potatoes. Well, you don't need that just yet. Cool. So just showing y'all the meat and the potatoes of everything. So let me know. And if that's the case, yeah, I will continue to. Oh, really? So I got to deposit them. So yeah, let me know. Put you there. Um. I believe it's this one that I wait hold on who did I deposit you okay all right okay let's do this I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find the time I can't I don't, I guess there's not a timestamp on it so I'm just recording all right it's probably a way to put it on there figure it out later So, I'm just going to get through these battles as quickly and as swiftly as I possibly can. But see, this race is a question. Since we've gotten two DLCs, because I don't think anybody was expecting a DLC when this first came out. I, along with, I want to say everybody, was expecting there to be... A what you do? A third series game, and we didn't get that. We got DLC. So the question now is, will we get another DLC following this? It's truly the question. Which I hope we do. I I, I hope we do, unless because it's being rumored that the Crown Hunter is only four hours of gameplay. Which I don't think that's the case because this right here is roughly two to three depending on where you start and how quickly you just run through everything. Plus, I believe I want to believe that the Crown Tundra has a lot of um, replayability and even post game activities after you get through the main storyline. But I will not, as of right now, I might change my mind. I don't see myself doing any of those legendary raids only because, well, I have every legendary and every mythical up into what is being released in this upcoming, well, in the DLC that's about to drop, so. But I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. You know? I could change my mind. I've been known to do those things. Again, don't judge me. Like I said, I am just running through these and I'm literally just spamming one move. But that's cool. And the main thing is just trying to hurry up and take down um, Master Mustard and 
yeah, that will be it. And we'll just be done with, with the thing thing. Now, the interesting thing when it comes to the Crown Tundra is that I know that I'm going to have to play it on both this. I actually do have Shield on my Nintendo Switch. And I actually have it physically right here. So, I'll be playing that because I need to have... Oh, that's why I didn't work. I forget that's part fair. Duh. I believe, yeah. I, I believe Meryl's already fairy before it gets a as a real. Whatever. But yeah. And so a fun story <laughs> about just me and the Pokemon series. So when uh when the games first like when Pokemon first came out, you know, I had um, obviously red, blue, yellow, I had it all, and I was able to, you know, catch all of the Pokemon, minus Mew, I did not have a Mew, I had everything but Mew, and then Golden Silver came out, did the transfer, and you know, I was doing good, then all of a sudden, they came out with Gen 3, and all of that work, all that time that was put into Gen 1 and Gen 2 went away because you couldn't transfer over any of those and I like so many was ready to just give up on the franchise just like I put in all this work and now you mean to tell me that it's all for not and at first and so I just gave up I got continue to play the series I just gave up on trying to catch them all and then eventually I said you know what I'm going to try to so when it came to um, Sun and Moon, I decided, okay, I'm going to go back in time and literally catch everyone and everything. So I had to make a list of all the Pokemon that I did not have. And I literally had to just jump, 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 transfer to transfer, do all the different transfer mechanisms just to get it up. And then, all right, cool. I caught them all. And then I believe Marshadow was the mythical. Got Marshadow. Then the, I'm probably going to say the name wrong, but Zerora or whatever. I'm just like, how many more mythicals are we going to come out with with a crazy way in which to get them? So then I finished this Pokedex. We all know about Zerora. I have a Zerora. <laughs> but I was just like, are you kidding me? Why are y'all playing with my feelings like this? Pokemon? I don't understand. But that's okay. That's all right. So as long as they don't come out with any more mythicals, <laughs> I will be great. And I know I'm, I'm asking for way too much. And when I say no more mythicals, I mean no more mythicals and not a surefire way to get them. But it's all good. And okay, all right. Okay, okay. I, I forgot. It's, it's Master Mustard. It's, his cuff was gonna be strong, whatever. Oh, okay, okay, well, what are you two? Yeah, wasn't ready for this. Nigga, it'd be the bow. Oh, I mean, do that. Oh my god, why is it so silly? Whatever. And with that being said, Done. Done, son. So all that is left, I, 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 I'm pretty sure this is it because he's going to make mention of me still having something to do, which is beating not just the main series game, the post game to that to come back to this. But I am curious if we really can just do some Crown Tundra activities, which obviously I'm going to have to pause in places I'll make it work I will make this work because what I what I might end up doing is probably do a little bit of crown tundra stop do a little bit of main series and like bounce between the two until I get to a point where I can't do any more crown, crown tundra until I complete everything else we'll figure this thing out we'll make it work okay 
Now it's time for it to evolve. With a scroll of all things. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, like I said, I was going to do all of this in one episode. So, what I'm probably going to do <laughs> is, in addition to all of this, I... Oh, wait. Dynamic... Oh, no. I don't want you to want... No. I thought I was supposed to learn it's signature move, though. There it is. So I think what I'll do <laughs> is I'll do this video, start editing it, record, do the very beginning por portion of going to Modal Stoke, or actually up there, getting my numbers and everything done, and I guess I'll call that a night, I guess. At a minimum, you're getting this video. <laughs> if I do one more, it'll be a surprise to all of us. And these are his words that he says under his breath. Once he's done what he is meant to do, it will be time for the next step. And yeah, that is it on that. So I have done all of that leg work. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy. As y'all saw, I did quite a bit of grinding, still with so much more to do. So, the bug lock continues. So, I'll see you guys on the next video.